Good afternoon people, this is Sol here. Just wanted to do you a shorter video today and let you know that we will be doing a pack and stack later on for you all. But today uh, I want to do as regular a series as I can. We've heard about free the Peace Friday, uh, I don't mind it. Um, and it's nice to see people cracking their little treasures. Uh, I want to do Wheel Swap Wednesday, although it's Thursday today, so what the hell am I on about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping to bring you these on a Wednesday. It's to do with my shifts and uh, when I'm available and what have you, you know, so Wheel Swap Wednesday. You heard it here first. So being busy, just relaxing, coming down off my night shifts. I've done a couple of... Um, wheel swap sphere and the first one I want to show you is this little fellow here we get a bit of zoom zoom on that and just pan down a little bit I'll show you this on the old rotating table in a minute but basically what we got here uh, I was lucky enough to find this and this is the Mazda RX-7 um, probably, well, no, not probably about it. The only super treasure hunt I've ever found whilst hunting. I was lucky enough that a lady gave me access to a new case. And the first car I found was this. I believe Mix 67 has been lucky enough to find this one also. Out whilst hunting. I'm going back a little while now. In fact, it's the... G case, yeah, oh D case, sorry, D, yeah, D case, which is still doing the rounds up north before the coronavirus kicked off, so Mick's moved on a few cases since then, but yeah, what a beauty, uh, you know, I'm not here to review this one, uh, I shall do a show on my treasure hunts and super treasure hunts, but this is the, the super treasure hunt. And here is the mainline casting of that piece. Um, tidy. I wouldn't say it was anything to write home about. Um, I wouldn't normally go for graphics like this, I must admit. Um, the treasure hunt was something aside. And I thought, yeah, okay, I'll take the generic casting. Um, you can obviously tell the difference in the paintwork. Um, wheels are horrendous. And to be honest, if I move this one back in, uh, I don't like the wheels on that either. But being as it's a super treasure one, I don't want to doctor that in any way. So I'm going to leave that and suffer the wheels. But this this little bad boy down here... I can because it's it's a pound pound forty something like that. The wheels again. Would you see anything like that out in the real world? I don't believe so. And if you do happen to own a car with them sort of wheels, pull up outside the front of my house. Give us a two. I'll come out and photograph it and show it to the rest of the world. But I don't believe that's going to happen. So, some of you have seen my last wheel swaps. I put the old wheels just in front to give you the indication of what it was. I say the, the casting's a bit gearish. I might change that. I'm going to ask for some guidance on, is it dry erase rubbers, erasers? I don't know what. Uh, so, I'll take some tuition on that. But let's have a look at what we did. And... Well, I'll, I'll I'll reveal the other piece in a minute. So we'll pull that wheel out there. And there we go. It's yet another Ford casted wheel from Greenlight. And again, you can see, albeit the daft graphics on the car, how realistic that makes that look. Let's take this one out of the way, put him this side. And there you go. Does that not look a lot better? 
I think so. Well, I know so. I don't need to tell anybody to tell me what my own eyes see, but I think that is a little stunner. Just like that, look. Yeah, so that's a good, cheap, easy way to improve a car no end. So we'll just put him out of the way for a moment. Pop him on the rotisserie grill. Let him cook up there for a while. That's it. I'll show you these again in a minute. Let you have a look at the overall effect. So, we'll just come out a little bit. So, um, some of you have seen this Momo Team Transporter. I'm not going to dwell on it. Um, there's the, the car that came with it. I believe that's a Porsche. But I will review this later because this is another yet another Team Transport that goes in a pack and stack of play now. So I'm saying lovely pieces, but I'm not going to dwell on it. So we'll move them. But what I'm getting at here is that... Oh, let me just move these wheels. Excuse me. Even this piece, nice as it is, it has wheels that don't subtract from the look of it, you know. They're nothing to write home about. And I may invariably do something about these as well, but it's not something that's driving me crazy. Okay. So I'll just pop him in the back. Do him up and that one will be coming to a show in your home really, really soon. Now then. Now we'll focus on this. So here's a generic casting. I'm sure most of you have seen this little beauty. I like it. Uh, I think it's absolutely cracking with the Momo logo on there. But again, you know what I'm going to get at. And you know what I'm going to say. These wheels. Yeah, I've lived with this piece for a while in the case. And I don't mind it. But the more I look at it, I think, well, that wheels have done a great paint job on that. A great tampo job. <sighs> can we improve it? <sighs> of course we can. And there we go. We're already hinting a hell of a lot more uh, realism. All compared to the new. God bless uh, Greenlight for putting these wheel kits out. And all of a sudden... A Datsun 510 looks more like a Ford Escort than ever before. What do you think, Mix 67? You're the expert on this, and David Basin, you're the expert on the 510. But I just think this looks so more than it ever was before. Let me get you a close up there, look. I mean, my goodness, you know, if, if, if Hot Wheels were doing generic kits, people would be queuing up for them. I'm sure they would. Easy enough to do. Let's just move you into the turntable here. Get a little rotisserie view of them all. Do you like the psychedelic card? <laughs> it's what I had to hand because there's them lights underneath that are included in the turntable and they're not for me. Uh, they're a bit too silly. Or they subtract from the piece. So we'll just get a little look at these on the rotary. And I say, this is that not improved things immensely? I know Fireman Food is a big wheel swap advocate. And goodness knows he does, I'll say, most of his cars in his wonderful displays are like this now. So, just square that up a little bit. But yeah, there's a nice broadside. I'm not here to review the car. I'm here to just show you a couple of quick wheel swaps I did whilst relaxing. 
after finishing my shifts for a few days. So yeah. Um yeah, I'm pleased with that. The more I look at these things, the more I like them. We'll move them out and we'll put the Momo on there now. You see the light shining through there, look. Irritating. Didn't say anything about lights when I bought it. But anyway. <clears throat> so there's that beautiful Datsun. I love the paint job on that. It is really, really deep. And... You can't have the cow without the tampos because it's Momo and that's Momo's logo. And ain't that a piece of poetry for you? Beautiful. A Japanese Ford Escort or an English Datsun, whichever you prefer. But them castings or them models, they look very, very similar to me. I've got no preference to either one. Uh, yeah, real happy with that. So just a quick update to take us to about 12 minutes and that will be that I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers and just this week alone I've picked up nearly 10 which is fantastic. Moving towards that landmark 100 for me which is a, oh, excuse me, a milestone. Didn't think I'd be getting close to it. I think it's lovely that we all use these channels to communicate and see what we'd like to collect or what we have already got in a different setting. Um, but yeah, to all my old subscribers that have been with me from the beginning, which wasn't so long ago, a big cheers to you all. Uh, you rock me world with your comments and during these times of self-isolation, it's important and you know I answer every comment and not just with a you know thumbs up or something you know you'll get a you'll get a few words from me because i'm interested and uh to all my new subscribers uh, especially the music lover amongst you um then that's super cool as well we're finding out that we've got a lot more in common than just the cars as people contact me and talk and you know, it, it's wonderful. Uh, I never thought I'd enjoy it so much. It's not a chore. I enjoy doing these things. So we'll call it a video for now. A couple of wheel swaps. We'll just uh, do what a Gary Diecast would do. And that would be to put these things side by side. And leave you with a view and then wheel swaps. I say this this one here and this and I think I shall try and get rid of them tampos it doesn't bring anything to the party super treasure on yeah maybe the Momo Datsun I love it for what it is but yeah look at them wheels okay so that's what I've got for you today I will be doing a pack and stack later on after me tea of which I'm starting to get a little bit peckish now so I, I record so much better on a full stomach. <laughs> so, <laughs> as typically an Englishman thinking about his belly before anything else. So you take care. I'm not going to talk about the negatives in life at the minute. Let's all keep our tails up and keep positive and know that if you're still safe, then there's a good chance you're going to stay safe. But don't get blase about anything. I respect each and every one here and thank you for your time. You take it easy now and bye bye.